Life unfiltered, real and raw No time to fake, you gotta give it all From battles in the ring to chases on the street Mike and Trevor making life complete Hey everybody, Trevor O'Connor, Mike Gonzalez, say hello Mike. Hello everyone. Welcome back to episode four. Alrighty. After the Final Bell podcast, um, we're starting to find our legs, we're starting to find Slowly. it. Yeah, we, uh, episode three in my mind was actually pretty good. Was it? It was topical. Yeah. We stayed on topic, um, you know, we bounced around a little bit and we, I mean, obviously... We go on tangents, but that's okay. How have you been? I've been good. I've been yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Just, JJ's out of town. Yeah, she left uh, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and so, what? what's today, Tuesday? It, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Tuesday. Um, Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. She's training. You know, yeah. She's training down in California, San Diego at uh, Alliance BJJ and just, just a bunch of girls down there just yeah. kind of getting some different looks. But And that's something that you guys do somewhat regularly where she will she'll go cross-train we're trying to, yeah. Yeah, 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 because it's too hard for both of us to go because we got Delilah and we dog, also we have cat. dog, we've got yeah, got everything. Cat? No, he's gone. He, somebody stole him. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a firm because he, he's he reminds. I told everybody he's he's not a cat. He's almost like a, just like a small dog. He loves everybody, goes up to people. So I'm a firm believer somebody took him. We just hope that he comes back. Or he's living his best life. Uh, that's what I told. That's what I told JJ. I said, if somebody's taking care of him better than we did, hey, knock yourself out. Go. Up. Oh, hey. You fucking leveled up, yep. cat. Yeah, yeah. I bet he. I bet he didn't though. But, you guys spoil. Oh man, yeah. But no, you know she's she's training. We're we're actually also trying to find a couple girls to bring in. Oh, to train for her camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know because I mean there's a lot of talented girls here in Colorado. Yeah. But they've all trained together for so long that you, it's not a new look. Everyone no. knows the cheat code to everybody else. Yeah, and it's it's not they don't I don't feel like they grow as much. Yeah. You know. So but now she's gone, so I'm I just went and bought me a a mo- what'd you buy? I I bought a Millennium Falcon Lego set. Because I, told I have you Legos one. rule. I, I because I have one. Mm-hmm. Um it was her brother's, but some of the pieces are missing. It don't have the figurines. And to buy the figurines, it's a little expensive. Just, just buy the whole just, thing. Yeah. So I just, I found one on Marketplace and I picked it up and then that's when I text you, I'm on my way. Oh. <laughs> In the box and everything. So. so I am a Legos guy. If you look on the shelf, the second shelf down over there. Yeah. Those are all Lego Star Wars people. Those oh, wow. Like, those just like eight big, inch guys. Yeah. You can kind of see them over my shoulder a little bit sometimes. Okay. Those yeah. Are, all right. So those are, those are Legos. Okay. Also the Fast and the Furious car down on the I bottom see, yeah. is Legos. I used to build a lot of Legos. Now I buy a lot of Legos and I hand them to Jaden. And she builds them. And then I have her build them and then Mike takes them back. But yeah, here, put them here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's fun. I mean, Legos are crazy now. They, they, they're and they're expensive. They're expensive. Ooh. Yeah. You know, I, I can't, like some, I start Googling or eBay or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's expensive. Yeah. Who has that kind of money? Just I need constantly. To, yeah, I need to like block most things from the internet in my office. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard. They make it too easy. So yeah, we'll see what she says when she gets when, when she gets home about the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, she can't be mad about that. No, I'm gonna put it away. <laughs> Just you're not gonna show her. <laughs> no, not yet. Not till I build it and be like, oh look, I put your brother's thing back together. But what if she watches this before you're done? She probably will. that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. So you got to remember. I might, I might, you're right. I might say something. I don't know. It's probably better to say but, something but now. But I needed the because I made a list. We 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 got her brothers because he didn't want them or whatever. Mm-hmm. We got them back, and I was like, I'm not going to put them together. So I I said, let me put it, let me get all the parts because there were there was that one and there was like two other ones that are pretty big, big sets. Ones, yeah. yeah. So I knew that the figurines were missing, and then it was missing some of the parts, and I started going through the list and. Some of the parts they didn't make or something. I don't know. So I was just like... You went through the whole all thing. the Legos piece by piece yeah. to find out what parts you had? Yes. Dude, the Millennium Falcon's like 2,000 pieces. Yeah. I, it, yeah. It had, the, it had the book. And you separated them by Every, part? Yes. It took hours. It took hours. 
because I wanted to make sure it was all there because it, my goat, my idea was like, if it's missing two or three, I would just buy them, you know, I'll order them online. It was missing, I don't know, en enough. And then I noticed that the figurines weren't there. So I was like, I need both. And so I was like, it's easier and cheaper if I just buy the whole you thing. You divided up a 2,000 piece Lego set. No, there's, by little there's, pieces. There's probably six thousand because I mean the other ones. Right, 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 right. You, oh, you went through all of them. <laughs> all of them, and and counted each number of each individual type of. Yeah, like, on on what? Yeah, like it, six of these, or seven of these, or whatever it is. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> so I, that's what I do when she's gone. It, it's nope. a great time. It's I would a, not. <laughs> Uh, not not one time would I count all the Legos no, in a no, box. No, but like when she's gone, I have a good time when she's like training. Cause mm -hmm. I'm just like, I could do what I probably wouldn't do when she's here. What have you done this week besides it? You, you bought the Millennium Falcon. Yep. Strained up the basement so we could train because that's going to be, well, since Delilah's doing wrestling and then me and you her put training. Some mats down yeah, we, we did that. Um, I have a, a Trax RC car that goes 55, 60 miles an hour. Are you good with it? I used to be, but I haven't. I haven't used played with it in a long time. Um, so I had to get some new batteries. So I just recently got new batteries. I'm not as good as I was, but yeah. I have bought probably four or five RC cars in my time. I'm not good. I, I'm good with that. I was good with that one. And the reasoning behind this is, and we'll see if it if this transcends. I never owned a video game as a kid. I never owned a console. I never had a video game. I never had, like, the the first video game I played is the GTA Online server. Mm -hmm. um, I've been explaining that to you. But there's always a link in the description below, guys, for our Discord. If you are an RP player for GTA, like, 5M, come check us out, dude. Patty Mayo, uh, official RP. There's always a link to the Discord. Come join it. Dude, we have a blast. It is so fun. But I never played a video game until I started playing the RP side of GTA. Yeah. And I'm not good at that, really. Like, I'm not a good shooter. I'm not a good driver. I'm a good, like, R like role player. Mm -hmm. I can network really well. But I think RC cars directly correlate to people who have played video games. I mean, yeah. But Did you I play? I, I used to play video games. Um, but I was always, I never really was into, like, racing games or right like things like but it's, it's the controller thing yeah it's, it's the dexterity of of being able to use a controller like that the, the hardest part on that on my rc car is i have the controller that the wheel is here mm. so when it's fake coming back at me i'll turn it one way and well, this goes oh, yeah, oh yeah. no wrong it's like way back in a trailer up yeah so yeah. that's the hardest thing for me um i don't know i'm i'm using it more so that i can buy more things for it <laughs> <laughs> you got to justify the purchase. Yeah, you've been. I've been using this thing for a month. I just need one little upgrade. Yeah, I need some upgrades. You know, I just so. need a little of this, or maybe but, one of those. Um, I also have a DJI drone. Me too. An FPV, like goggles. See, I don't. I, I need one of those. You want? Now. You want to fly mine? Is Check it, it out. It won't fly away in this. Oh, we can't do it today. Yeah, do you we, guys hear the wind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, you, yeah, you should let me try it because I have, our, mine's an older version and the uh, DJI, what, 2 Mini? Mm -hmm. So you still, you, it's still connected with your phone, which I love to mm -hmm. still, you know, I think it's a, one, it's a, probably a great starter one for me, so I don't overdo it, right? Yeah. Um, so I love it. I love following people. Man, people freak out. <laughs> so mine, you put the head, the the goggles on, and you take off. It sets a home base. Something's beeping. Did you hear it? I heard a beep. Okay, it's probably her. Yeah, she's probably building a bomb. I mean, she's the the nice lady. Yeah. Um. Anyway, you put the goggles on and the camera on it. I can fly like over to the elementary school. You know, mm -hmm. when you're pulling into my neighborhood, I can fly over that. Obviously, not when school's in <laughs> session. <laughs> 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 you, yeah. Mm -mm. Um, I've I've been able to get it over to like the park, where like the little community center in our neighborhood and the swimming pool is. Yeah, uh, I can I can get it over to there, and then I can set a home base so that I can have it return and it'll come back yeah. close enough to me that I can land it, which is important because 
Do you feel like I get lost? Do you feel like it's easier to fly it with the goggles than with uh, yes. than with the uh, yeah? Because mm-hmm. I'm seeing per- first person, like I'm seeing what the drone is seeing. Yeah, but there's also a map overlay. Oh, of where you're at, and like your home base is like a, a beacon. Like you can see, like when you turn, and it centers. You can see the direction you should fly to get home. Yeah, that helps. Huh. Um. I'm not very good at that. I'm decent. I'm getting better. Yeah. Um, but mostly because I started playing GTA. Oh. And I have a controller in my hand a lot. Yeah. So, so that, it, that helps you. Yeah. Now, Pat, on the other hand, Pat has like five Matrix T30 drones, which are like $10,000 a piece. They have like infrared, laser targeting. Oh, dang. They do everything. Oh, d- dude. And he, he could fly. How far, how, far does, how far do those go? A couple miles. Oh damn! Like he okay. goes, he goes out. Like he can go out far, far. They're big. They're like, like is it two one of those? Square. Is that is that one of those that you have to get like a certification or one of the FAA license or whatever? Yeah. Oh, okay, because it's like a, a it, part one hundred and eight license. Yeah. All right. I did that. You did that. Yeah. You got everything. You got all the certifications. What? Well, I just you know, it's one. It's kind of what I do. But Pat can fly those. Really. And Harvey's actually pretty decent too. I'm on the other hand, I can get it up and I can go around some places and then I can get it back over where I want. But the whole time I have it in the air, I'm like, that's $10,000 in the air. So. Well, I, I, I have a hard time of like, I don't want to get too low because I don't want it to hit a power line or right. a tree or, you know, I, if it could say like, hey, you're getting close, like a beep, 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 beep then um, I mean, I, mine doesn't have that. Mine has, know. mine has awareness. Oh, okay. To an extent. Yeah, mine uh, coming down. Mine doesn't have that. Like you can set mine on different types, like with assistance, with s- some assistance, with no assistance. Mm-hmm. I leave mine with like the most assistance on, <laughs> which means if I start backing up, it'll like it'll pause. The drone won't back up if I'm gonna back into something. Oh, it'll be like dee 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 dee. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't see that. Stop. Yeah, I should stop there. Um, mostly because I don't want to pay for someone's window or. A new transformer on an electric line because you lost you backed be, in yeah because yeah. I, yeah um but I'm I'm definitely gonna fly it more because I don't have to leave the house to do it <laughs> anything to not leave the house that's still yeah, still how many days we're, we're, we're a week in now I feel more than that dang the last time I left the house was on the eleventh. I know you don't even go get groceries. Nope. They deliver them. They come here. Or Kay Miller goes. Either one. She goes. Like she whoop, she goes out of the house and does all kinds of stuff. Today's the 19th. Yep. Last time I left the house was on the 11th. Eight days. I haven't been outside. Well, I, I, that's not true. I, I was in the front yard. I got the mail. Yeah, that doesn't count. I have not left the property. <laughs> That, yeah. Another record that's still intact, and I don't know what's going on, and I'm starting to freak out. The flashlight. There's something wrong with that. It shouldn't be. There's something wrong with that flash. Like that's what I might have. You've a been ghost. sending me. A, you've been sending me a picture every day, and I feel like that's what five days, five or six days. Yeah, that. What, I think we I, have a ghost, dude. You think it could be Kristen's dad? Yeah. Kristen's dad lived with us until he passed. He actually passed in our house. Okay. And he's he's definitely a prankster. When he w- so uh, if you believe in ghosts and you believe that they can communicate through things like I believe flashlights. I, I, I I'm a firm believer because I've seen I've seen one with my eyes. So yes. You would think that it would be like a blinking thing or an off and on this flashlight. It's all it is is an Olight warrior. And it's not even the it's, biggest flashlight. No, it's it's maybe what an inch in diameter. Yeah, and it's about it's what? about six inches tall, if that. And it's just a rechargeable battery, Warrior uh, Olight Warrior. It shouldn't last more than a couple hours on. I turned it on because I was trying to run the battery down. If you haven't seen the episodes before, I set it down on my nightstand. And I woke up the next morning; it was still on. I was like, oh, "That's weird." I'm going to see how long it takes. It's like six days now. That's crazy. That, I've never had a flashlight last more than a night. 
it's either that or it's there's a special battery in there that you only got one. But it's getting dimmer, slightly, very slightly. But still, if, if all the lights went off, you'd still be able to see, even if yeah. it's dim. Now I'm afraid to turn it off and turn it back on because... It won't turn back If on. there's a glitch and it's... A, but do we have a ghost? Do we have a ghost that can can do that? Maybe. But that many days, like six days straight, are they up there like concentrating on the, on the flashlight the whole time? I, mean, I don't know how ghost stuff works. How often do you go check on it? What if they turned it off when you left bed and they're like, oh, they're coming up? I mean, they would have to be... They had to be on it. They're probably faster than you. Yeah, they don't have to walk upstairs. <laughs> Whoa. But do ghosts have to walk? I mean, they might look like it. Do they have to walk? Because they if they walk, walk, we're probably the same speed. No, they're floating. They do you think like they can just... Yep. Straight up? I think they, they can. can just go? I don't know. I don't know. If you're a ghost person, tell me. You think we got a ghost? Because a flashlight should not last six days. Never. Not, not even not, not that big. No, with no amount, no kind of battery should a flashlight last six days. No. There's no way. It's still on. That's. I'll, we'll go up after. I'll show you. It's still on. That it has not moved. Crazy. I have not touched it. I have not moved it. It's now. If it's off when we go up there, there's a ghost. Earl. If it's you. I'm playing a joke on you. At least blink it at me a couple yeah. times. Let me like. know that it's something. Is it one of those also that like you, you click it once, it's bright. You click it twice, it dims down. You click it another time, it like blinks. Probably. Okay. Probably. If that I thing, don't carry that one ever. If that thing, if once it goes out, you charge it and it goes back on, mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy me two of those. You're getting <laughs> two of them. We're gonna be <laughs> spokesmen forever. So I don't I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Could be a ghost. Could be a ghost. That's, I mean, there's aliens, right? There's aliens, or they said there's. What do you think? I think there is. I think there's something. It's hard there. to it's hard to argue with it now because, like, even the government's like, yeah, there's stuff. It, which kind of like scares me. Not scares me, but like makes me think like, okay, you're what are you trying? What else is out there then? You're just saying what you say that you're a conspiracy theorist on everything. So, yeah. If they show you, if yeah. they show you this, yeah. Then there, it's got to be that. Well, because they're trying to, they're trying to distract us. Yeah, everything, everything's a distraction. N some, okay. Well, fifty fifty. That's but, probably but, one of my biggest pet. But why peeves would they? Why would they on social media? Unless, unless as a society, uh -huh. we're not ready to really. We're not. Have you, know you know seen I mean? society? Yeah. Have you been in public? Yeah. Been in a Walmart? Mm, actually, today I had to go get See? some light bulbs and. And I Are those ran people out, ready? Ran out. I ran out. Are they out. ready? Nope. No. So, you know, maybe that's why it's taken so... That's why my... That's what my theory behind why they've taken so long to tell us. It's also why I haven't left the house in eight plus days. So you don't get because, taken by aliens? No. 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 Oh. Because... Do you believe they kidnap you, though? Like, you know how people say they... Man. That's the thing. Like, there's been so many similar reports of how it happened to people mm -hmm. from different places. It's hard for them to get their stories in line. But at the same time, cuckoo is cuckoo. Yeah. And what, I mean, if they've kidnapped and taken people up to, why, why didn't they just land and be like, hey guys, we're from that planet, we're I, from that I, galaxy? I think that they're walking amongst us. If they can come visit us and we don't know where they're from. Like shapeshifters? They can for sure disguise themselves as a, as a human. What was that, what was that TV show? It was in like a mountain town. What was it? And there was a guy, like the, a guy was an alien and he lived in this mountain town. It's around a lake. I have to check it out. You'll have to, but yeah. like he would be his alien self, but then go in public and he'd just be like John just normal public. Right? Yeah. 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 That, that, See, and that's where the other part, like, uh, like Hollywood and like, how do they come up with these ideas? But then they hit so close to what it possibly is. Like, are they out there? Or are they the aliens? DIA aliens? I go to DIA a lot. Oh. Have you have you seen the gargoyles that talk to you? No. Yeah. They have they have those. Like animatronic? Well, they're like on a just like on a on a ledge. On a ledge and 
and, and sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they'll walk by and they'll say something to you. I mean, I'm sure it's a computerized Were thing. you tired? No. I, it's never done it to me, but you they, you didn't see it on the news? You didn't see nothing? Yeah. Everything I see on DAA, I just ignore. Conspiracy theorists have ruined everything in the world to me. Because everything's a conspiracy. Everything is a government conspiracy to make you not pay attention to this and see that. I'm like, every single thing that happens cannot be a conspiracy. Some things just happen. Yeah. Yeah. I just think that for the aliens, there's got to be something else out there. That they're, that if they're they can not, fly here, yeah. they can do way more. Yes. I mean, if their vehicle is so high tech that they can go from galaxy to galaxy and arrive here. That fast. Because we don't have anything that can chase them. No. There's nothing. We've to... sent things into space and they'll be dead before they arrive because of the time it takes to get yeah. there. Yeah. So do you believe people have seen the aliens in Roswell? Aren't they going to declassify Roswell stuff soon? That's what they say. I'd like to know. Is it all just a big story? It got excitement? or? I feel like that's how that... Um, what's that one guy they did uh, that documentary on that said they, he worked at Alien, uh, Area 51? Oh, what was his name? They did a documentary on him. And then he was on the Rogan podcast. Oh, I've and probably then, seen him there more than I'd seen him on the documentary. You know, and he said he worked there, but then, and then they, I, I kind of believe it. I kind of believe, but I don't when they said they can't find anything on his school and stuff. So I'm assuming that the government, if, if he was really working. They at, wiped him? Yeah. But I'm just like, some of the stuff, I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I would be interested to see how many people walking around that the government have actually wiped and gave them a new whole I love the documentaries, and I watch a lot of them on on on, on crime people. But I, I'm not saying they always mess up though. Like they, the big they, crime people, they're not smart. They, right? they go into witness protection but, and they they call their uh, ex girlfriend. But um, the people working for the government are way smarter, right? Yeah. You so would you would think that, uh, you know, have you ever thought of maybe one of them? You knew one of them, and they're just no saying that would be scary. Well, you know someone that? No, I don't. I'm just saying they got that. wiped. Yeah, and, and recreated. They're just, yeah, they're just a new person. I mean, it's worth it, I guess. You're you're making money forever, probably. They have to pay you, right? Oh yeah, they have to pay you. Yeah, because you can't use the skills that you had before. No, no. And it has to be enough money that you won't break the character. Yes, yeah. If you're, I can make more money as me now, you're playing GTA they wipe in me. real life. Yeah, they wipe <laughs> me and put me in another town. I have to at least have the income that I have now, or else I'm going to just go back to my old life. Yeah. So. You know, if you work at one of those places, I've seen the plane take off from Vegas when we were in Vegas, the, the Aerial 51 plane the, with no markings. Mm, are you like, sure? It, it was, I looked it up and it was, because there's, there's a white plane, red stripe, no numbers. That sounds like most skydiving planes. No, that, <laughs> this was too big to me. Too big? Too, too big. big. Okay. Are you going to start telling me that you believe in Bigfoot now too? No, no, I don't believe in that. Do we have that kind of stuff going on? No. Are there, are there things? No. no? I mean, no. Chupacabra. No, I don't believe that. There's either. No boogeyman. No. What about the Rougarou? I don't think I've heard of that. Louisiana. It's like a swamp Bigfoot. The Rougarou. I just no. That's people scaring people. It's a Rougarou, man. They 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 have like pushed down. I mean, if the, and if, the and if the swamp steps, if the swamp maybe in the swamp. I, I'm not trying to go to the swamp. You don't want to go hang out with him? No, man. I, I, that's scary. You watch some Everglades of in the swamp is probably... Everything in there can kill you. Probably one of the scariest places to be, I would say. At the same time, it looks peaceful. I mean, because sometimes you, you know, people are like, oh, you go to backwoods, Kentucky, and you know, they'll kill you. I'm like, well, go, go to the Everglades or go to the swamps. Mm-hmm. All they got to do is throw a body near where the crocodiles or alligators are. Well, even in some of those spots where, you know, those people have grown up there in all their lives and generations, if you go there and you take a left turn, forget it. Yeah. You're they're going to wear you. They're going to be wearing your skin for yeah, a hat. Forget it. They're, you're not going to get found. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, and they I'm can not, get rid of every, like, they just let an alligator farm eat you. Yeah. They're, no, but they won't find bones. Well, what about the Rougarou? I don't know. I'm not believing that Bigfoot. No. No? 
Abominable Snowman? No. No. So none of those exist, but aliens. They're... We're going with aliens, but not weird life forms right here. No. No. You mean, uh, so no, there's no, okay, Bigfoot. Okay. They've been around uh, supposedly forever. Mm hmm. You tell me, no, none of them have ever, all of them are still alive. Nothing's died and nothing's been found. Maybe they have a place. No. Maybe they know. Are you, what about Loch Ness Monster? There's some big shit in the water. A dinosaur, though? There's some big shit in the water, dude. I guarantee there's big shit in the deep water that hasn't even been seen. Oh, I, I believe that. So to, to rule out Loch Ness Monster, that's maybe not. So you can't rule that out? No. Okay. I'll, no, there's stuff, there's stuff in the water. There's stuff. Hmm. Want to go? Not that deep. I, I want to go, but I'm not. I'm not. That I deep. Don't want to go that deep. Mm -hmm. That's that scares me. Uh -uh. All right. In a similar direction. Last night, I don't know how I ended up on this, but I ended up watching like probably ten videos of on a time traveler. You think that's real, Sergey Ponomarenko? And what did he say? In 2006, he showed up in Kiev. Okay. Ukraine. Wearing clothes that looked new, like they, they had recently been purchased, but were from like the 19, late 40s. He also had a camera around his neck from similar time with undeveloped pictures in it. They could not find any record of him from that time, but they looked him up and they found him in like 1945, 1950 driver's license or ID pictures yeah. that looked exactly like him as they were seeing him now. He should have been 70 years old as they were seeing him. Yeah. But he looked young. They developed the pictures. They're... Same outfit with a girlfriend from 1950. So he was just walking around. He had a time-space continuum, time traveled forward. But how do they decide who's... who's Apparently the they also looked up the girlfriend who is now old. Did they ask her who that guy was? You have to find out. But apparently he's been forward and backwards in time. Both. What do you think? Time travel possible? I back to the future? I don't know if that's possible. You think that's possible? There's but how do you get chose to be a, the time traveler? I don't know. How like is it a special And how does I mean how does it work? Are we are we existing in multiple like time dimensions at are all time dimensions still actively happening? Do you think that's what happens to missing people? They're just time travelers? They could be. They're just not here anymore. I mean, you see stuff I see stuff, you know, people taking show it's hard it's hard to believe anything you see as a picture nowadays because of the whole AI thing. Of course. You know, but you do see some pictures where they're it's like, oh, look at this guy in the camera with a ca with this kind of camera or this kind of thing. A guy in, holding a cell phone. Yeah, back in whenever before. In the thirties. Yeah. Yeah. That stuff's out there. I think. I mean, man, I don't. But time travel is weird. Like, can you really? And how does it work? That. I, I don't. Did know. you see that movie, The Fly, where the guy created these pods where he could like make himself become matter particles and show up over there. No. But then one time he went in and there was a fly in the pod when he went. And so it combined its DNA with his. No, I never know. It's the guy from Jurassic park. What was his name? That actor. The dark haired guy. I haven't, I've have the only Jurassic park movie I've seen is the original. The first one. I've never, yeah, seen it would be him. Oh, then he was in, yeah, him. Kind of the cocky. Yeah, I, I don't know his name. But dark, yes. dark hair. I know you're talking about. I can't remember his yeah. name. I'm dude. I'm 
I'm getting so old that I can't remember shit. I'll stick on a word that I should be able to say, like I'm looking at it, and I just I'm Rolodexing, and I'll just say something else. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say an alternate word that means something near what I was talking about. Yeah. But I just. Old age. That's, man. Yeah. Old age and getting punched in the head a lot. Yeah, that's. Yeah. You think that's part of it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, that, hey, what, you know what's he not. Said, a, yeah. yeah. You know what's not a conspiracy of CTE. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I've been hitting the head a lot. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that is not a conspiracy. That one. Doors. This, everything, loves, a lot of things yeah. have hit me in the head. Yes. Now, do you think, since we were on the drone thing, okay, I've thought about, I, I came across something, because last episode we were talking about pages to follow on social, social media. media. I didn't follow this page, but it popped up as a ad, eh, right? Did I, you remember I started the name? Fo- uh, it's in my phone, but okay. I saved the whole thing. It said that, now, do you think, but 50%, they said, they did a study, they said 50% of men thinks that they can land an airplane in mid from midair, like in an emergency. No. You don't think it can be done? I would not be the one. You wouldn't? I'm surprised. I'm surprised you would. Did, I, I for sure, when, I didn't even tell anybody about that I was going to bring this up, but I was like, Trevor's going to say, yes, I could do it. Now, I would like to think I can do it. With instruction? Uh, yeah, let me see. But the problem is, you have to hit speed. Let me find. You know what? I'm going to say I probably could. And okay. you know why I probably could? Because there was about a month and a half, two month period where Pat and I both bought flight simulators. Yeah. Like the full chair cockpit with all the. Oh, damn. The real all one. The handles, like a real one. And in VR. Okay. And because we're so competitive, we would make bets. Because it's real-time flying mm-hmm. in that Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's real-time. Oh, okay. It's not like here to Vegas takes seven minutes. You, it's like real. A couple hours. It takes as long as the flight oh. takes. Oh, wow. So we would make bets. You had to leave Airport A, and you had to stop at B, C, and D, and then your trip ended at Airport E. But it's real airports. That you're going to. It's, it's mapped. It oh. looks... Everything looks exactly like, like it yeah. does. It's all from Google images or satellite view. I mean, everything is there. So I have landed a plane. Okay, yeah, because this thousands is... Thousands of times. It, explaining. I've also crashed about thousands of times. Explaining the universe is the page. And it says, almost 50% of men think that they can land a passenger plane in an emergency. As, experts disagree. I could probably... We have a much better chance of me landing a Cessna which is a small one. Because that's what I flew in the flight simulator a lot. So a passenger... A passenger well, plane on the other end. I mean, there's so many things that can happen, and there's so many variables that you have to you have to think about. Like, you have to be coming in at rate of approach, you know, exactly the right speed, at exactly the right angle. And then as you get to a certain elevation, you also have to then bring the nose up and change your thrust. And land. I mean, there's a lot that goes... It's not just... I would like to say Burn I could, in. but I don't know if I could because I would panic. Microsoft that Flight I Simulator will tell you if you can. Or you know, I, I don't, I don't. I probably uh, crashed the first 40 times that I. Flew. I didn't even play a flight sim. I played Flight Simulator, but I played the one on the plane and I crashed. You know how they have mm-hmm. the games on the plane? So when we were flying somewhere, I was like, I'm going to no, try it. In VR. Yeah. So you look out the window and you see, out the, you, I mean, everything mm-hmm. you have going on. You have all of your instruments. Yeah. And there's too many things going on in the cockpit. And you have, I mean, you have to change your flaps. You have to, you're, yeah. oh, there's so many things. I got pretty good at it. Yeah. Where I could land probably 85, 90% of the time without I going mean, to flight school. Not too bad. That's not too that's bad. Not bad. That's I don't, not bad. A passenger plane, I don't know about because there's so many more things weight and just big runway. The thing, you have to calculate it. That, this is what those 50% of guys that think they can do it just cold don't take into consideration. You have to be able to hit the angle so that your plane is arriving at the runway. At the right time. At the right time. Yeah. You can't hit halfway down the runway and then think you're going to stop. <laughs> so hit the brakes. 
It doesn't work no, like that. No, it don't work like you that. Go, you got to get the runway over here so you have enough time. Yeah. And I'm sure depending on the plane that is the size of the runway you got to land in, right? Because yeah. some of the runways take, some of the planes take a longer runway. Longer runway, runway shorter yeah. runway. Yeah. Like Broomfield up here. You can't, you can't land a 747 at Broomfield. I did fly on a double decker. A double decker. Oh, they, 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 oh when you went to. Uh, when I flew from Sing, Sydney, uh, Singapore to Sydney. Was that cool? I, you can't tell you're flying. Yeah. That that big. And so that, big. that's smooth. Was there a lounge and everything? You got up and walk around or we didn't get those seats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, we didn't. You had the other seats. <laughs> we had the yeah. But but the plane was massive and that I I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous because like there's this thing shouldn't it's too big it's too to big. be in the air. It's just too big to be in the air. But there it is. I mean there it was. It was nice. I had the whole road to myself for eight hours, so I slept, but yeah, I don't I, don't, I would you like think to you say, could fly a plane? I can with, tell you taking off is easier than landing. With, with training, for sure. With, hey, this is an emergency. We're all dying. Who can try it? Like, okay, I'm not going to promise If I'm anything. the most qualified, okay. Oh, yeah, but if there's somebody else that can... I think if you're good at handling pressure... I like want to know who's played the most video games. I'm putting that guy in the seat. Probably, okay. Yeah. Because I'm... That generation, like the millennials and Gen Z... That grew up with like video games. Video game, they're probably way more apt because it's so. Ing- they're just like, oh, these are controlled. This is what you do. Yeah. And us, we're like, how do I slow it down? Where do I? How do I rate? And they're just okay. This does this. This does yeah. that. I can. I I wouldn't do good. And they'd be better than we yeah, are, in, in or better than pressure. me. Yeah. I don't know about you. Uh, no. Better than me. Uh, I, they wouldn't. They would do better than me. I mean, I'd give it a shot, but I'm not gonna promise we're gonna land. The right way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll do it, but hey. Probably not going to land the right way. You know what I forgot to do last episode that I needed to do now is about the middle of the episode. Call us. We have a phone number. You can call or text and leave us voicemails. We did receive a voicemail last night. Oh. Um, right. I didn't understand it, so I'm going to ask. I'm going to text them and ask for some. Clear it up. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember talking about what they asked. Oh. But we did get a text from another guy. It was really nice. Um, just saying how he really liked um, you and I and how, okay. how we interact. That was cool. That was well, that's nice. good to hear. But all the crazy shit we've talked about so far and that we're going to continue to talk about for the rest of the episode, if you would like to call and leave us a voicemail, if you would like to just leave us a text, if you don't do voicemail, we will get them on air. And you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you're watching this at two in the morning somewhere, uh, you you can call and leave a voice. It's not going to wake me up. It's a separate, <laughs> it's a separate device. Yeah. Uh, 303-578-8680. You can call that number 24 hours a day. Talk about how handsome I am and mm-hmm. how lucky Mike is to, to see, see a handsome you know, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah get a stare, <laughs> stare across the table at me. Uh, but again, 303-578-8680. I really like to get voicemails from listeners or watchers. I, I think, think that'd it's be cool. fun. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I think that, well, that would probably remind you see. of the radio days, right? Yeah, it does. You know, that'd be fun. I might be able to, hang on. Okay, hang, hang with me. Hang with me here. Let me see. I think I can do it. Hang on. Uh-oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not the technology genius. Um, you're pretty good, though. Hey, Trevor. Hey, Mike. I'm a big fan of yours, Trevor. I've been a big fan of you and Pat for a long time. And I'd love to know more about the quantum that you talked about on episode two. I hope you guys have fun and don't get hurt betting on anything you shouldn't be betting on. Take it easy, guys. Bye. I don't remember talking about quantum. What did we talk about? Mostly, I appreciate the fact that he called and he, he's been a fan. Was that the robots? No. Uh, could have, Maybe it was robot stuff. Call back and, yeah. and give us a little more detail. Please. But, yeah, we're, I mean, we're getting, we're, you know, we get voicemails like that. It's cool. Yeah. People call. I'll get them on now that I know it works. Yeah. That was cool, huh? See, I figured it out hey, right there. quick. Bluetooth to the mixer. You don't even need to edit that. Bam, bam, bam. Boom, it's in there. 
But again, 303-578-8680. You can call and say anything. Whatever. We'll listen. If you're lonely and you just need to dump your head out, go ahead. Yep. And you can say, don't play this on the air. I'll, yep. I'll listen to it. We'll hear you out. We'll hear it. We'll hear it. Whatever. So. Speaking real quick. Yes. Did you see uh, Kim Kardashian got a Tesla robot? I just, I just it, seen it today. Is it a nanny? I don't know. But she. She got she, one of the first ones? I, I'm assuming. Yeah. And, and it was crazy because, you know, she did her video or whatever. But mm-hmm. it was, his, you know, the heart shape they do. Can you do this? And the robot does. I'm like. That's Amica that's, facial expressions, everything. But anyway, carry on. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. not a fan of the ro- the I'm robots. No, one. man. Okay, let me no. ask you this. We have no. um we have AI, you know, like my friend over behind us. Mm-hmm. If I say it, she's gonna ding. Um we also in our phones, we have our friend in there. What if it wasn't a robot? But it was a much more developed AI that lived like in your phone that you could have conversations with. I could just talk to myself. But this would actually have answers. I or have answers, the ones would, I want to hear. Would hold up <laughs> the other end of the conversation. There was a movie. It's probably been 10 years ago. I mean, that probably helps people that that would probably help people that are struggle with being social, struggle with Leaving and that, that can help them maybe become have a conversation or have a like that. I can see that it can help like that. I mean, me personally, I would rather just talk to you or talk to somebody. There was a movie probably 10 years ago called Her. I want to say it was. What's her name? I can't remember. Starts with an S. Anyway, she was the voice of this AI that lived in the guy's device and it it went a little crazy and he like fell in love with his AI companion who didn't have a physical shape but he would like lay in bed and have like nighttime conversations, conversations like letting so all he of the emotion, he developed feelings yeah. because the AI was so advanced that it was responding not just with See, this is the weather traveler, is time traveler stuff. Would you take it? Would you do an AI assistant like that? No, that you could continue a conversation. With. That's what it, the big part of it was. So now with like A L E X A or Siri, um, there she is. There she is. Hello. Go away. They never ignore you either. No, but it's kind of like a one question answer, maybe a little bit of follow up. But what if your AI never ended, like in the the conversation could ever evolve? That might be. It wasn't like you ask a question, it gives you the answer. Now it's like you ask a question and then you go on with your life. You talk about seven other things and then you find out something about the question you ask and you can come back with information and they recall the conversation and feed back Mm, to you. Now that, no. Like a human. Yeah. You know, if we have a conversation today, yeah. you could call me tomorrow and say, hey, remember we were talking about this? I saw this, this, and this. What if your AI could be like, oh, hey, did you? I, I, they're, that's, they're work, that's why they're not all released, because they're working on that. Would you take that kind of companion over a robot? If I had, like, a choice? Mm-hmm. That, yeah. I, yeah, I would do that. Because at least that. we can't just choke you? Yeah, that that I would take, yeah, rather rather than the robot. If If you gave me, here's your choices. Equally dangerous, I think. Yeah, I agree. Both are dangerous. If they could connect to anything in your house. I mean, if they're in your Wi-Fi network, they're ingrained in your house. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we deal with it every day, but at least. I would be way more okay with it than Kay Miller. She was not down. I I would have a, if we could have an assistant like that, that was wired to the house and you could. I'm with her. Like, this is me speaking. Like, if I have a choice, if I have a choice, no. None of them. None. Coming from the guy that does not have a smart device in his house. Yeah, not none. They they just uh, I don't know. They listen. They do listen. But yeah. but everything listens. Do you I, know what I? I'm not I'm not on. I used to really think about like they're listening to us. They're listening to us. Like after I really sat and thought about it, I'm like mm-hmm. everything's listening to us. I think it's very 
narcissistic of society to believe that anything they're saying is so important that they give a shit. That's why I said I've come to realize now, by listening. If you're a spy, that's if different. you are plotting like major terrorist things or like school shootings or something like that. Do you think that's ever stopped something? I don't know. Probably. Hmm. I mean, then it'd be, then that's a great idea. Yeah. But I mean, if, but then there's the minority report. Do you remember that movie? They stopped yeah. crime before it happened. Mm. But even if you're just thinking something, you could be charged. Oh yeah. No, I'm, I don't need that. No. So a lot of make, no. a lot of people make me mad. And <laughs> yeah, but I just, I'm one of the people that believes that nothing I say, is, I'm with you. Has the importance that anyone gives a shit. Yeah, that that's what the poor guy that's assigned to me. Yeah, he probably just every night he goes home and goes this fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. How is this guy so dumb? Mm -hmm. And and if they come to my house, then everybody's in trouble. It's like that's what I'm digging. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like if I'm the problem, there's a lot of problems. Yeah, you might as well. I'm an open book. Like, I don't yeah, care. Yeah. yeah. I, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on the, I've stopped the whole, they're listening to me. You passed that. Yeah. You're still on everything's a conspiracy. Though. Uh, most things. Or only, or we're only receiving a portion of the true information. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever they have, there's 10 times more. Yeah. They don't want us to know everything. That I do, uh, that I do believe, which yeah. is fair because I think, I really do think. That Protect people, society. Yes. I do think that it helps a majority of society. There are people I, that would be perfectly fine with it. I will always say a person is smart. People are stupid. Yeah. If you deliver information to one person, they can usually rationalize the, you know, and, and come to an understanding. It's when they give information to masses that they, people become dumb. Yep. Because everybody looks at it different. So everybody starts, or one person starts to tweak it and make, all these other people think what they want. Yeah. It's not true information. Anymore. Yeah. So a person is smart. People are dumb. Yeah. So to protect us, other than that, I'm some yeah. conspiracies. DIA, not, I'm not too sure if that's a conspiracy. I don't My know. My thing's taking on a life of its own. I, I, I'm now I'm thinking like they're going to downtown is just going to be old downtown and they're going to build a whole new. That's what I'm thinking. They're going to build a whole new downtown. Because we're the only airport, I feel like, in America. Our airport used to be downtown. <laughs> yeah. You know that. Yeah. Stapleton. Stapleton. Used to be downtown. Yeah. There's pictures of it. Mm -hmm. Like, planes driving I, over the as highway. As a kid, I flew up with it. Yeah, my mom would take us every now yeah. and then. And, you know, you would see the plane flying over, whatever. But we're the only airport, I feel like, in the U.S. that is... Way out. 30 miles or 20 miles or whatever is from, de from the city. It's like 15 minutes. It feels like forever. It's like 15 minutes outside of the city. No, longer than that. It takes me 25. I can get from DIA to my house in 35 minutes. But you take the toll, probably. No. That costs money. You don't take the toll? Mm -mm. I'm going to time it. I'm going to time it Friday. I got to go get JD. I'm going to time I it I get Friday. toll bills often. Yeah. I, man, I'm... From somebody else. I take... I'm, I'm guilty. I'm... Kristen, if that's you, I'm guilty too. Kate Miller's. Yeah. She takes it. She takes the tolls. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I just don't believe they save me enough time to worry. Florida, but I got a ton of toll bills from Florida because every highway there, it saves you can't me. go anywhere. It saves me anxiety. Yeah. I do like the toll roads because there's less traffic on them. Yeah. But in Florida, you can't you can't drive and not go on a toll road. Everything. Every, any, I feel like anything, when you start to go east, even if you drive for, through here to Kansas, there's somewhere you hit tolls. Like just, the, you know. It's not free to drive across the country. No, it's dollar twenty-five. Well, move well, somewhere. Well, I never, you know, I I thought those things were automated, and when we were driving up, and when we went from Boston to Maine, mm -hmm. we had to stop, and there somebody working there, and the lady's like dollar twenty-five. I'm like, all right. Yeah. You had cash. Oh, I can always carry cash. You have cash. Always, always, I'll, I'll, always in my. Always. Do you know the last time I had cash? I don't remember. Always. If if someone gives me cash, I just give it to Kristen. I'm like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm I don't know what to do with this. I, I would I would prefer to pay in cash. Really? I'm, I'm one of those guys. I do have tap. Don't get me wrong. I, yeah. Like I, you're not gonna catch me cashless. Like I'm gonna have something. No, <laughs> I I do not have a dollar in cash on me. Hmm. I mean, I, 
Yeah. It's very inconvenient though when someone's system is down. It yeah. I'm like I'm the only one in 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 our in our household really that carries cash. Hell, JJ don't even take her wallet. Don't take nothing. She knows better. Yeah, she, she ain't paying for Mike's it. Mike's got it. Mike got it. Mike's got it. Mike's so got for it. me, I do everything tap or like with my debit card tap. Kristen broke my debit card like the day before we came back. Mm-hmm. I still haven't got it replaced. And so if you have to use my debit card, it's a coin top. You hope <laughs> that it reads the chip. I'm, I hate she cracked this. it in half. I hate the tap thing. I love it. It's too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Yeah. Too easy. That's why I hate it. I mean, I, I like it. Don't but get me wrong. But cash is the same way. If you have cash, it's easier to spend. Also, like, not as if you have $100 bills, hard to spend. Yes. You're but like, once I'm you not break, it, break it. Once you break it. As soon as you break 100 then that 100 has gone. Yeah. Yeah. See? But it's no different. Yeah. I, it's no different. It, no, it isn't. You're right. It isn't. It but isn't. I, I, I'm going to, I'm going I'm to, well, let's pay with cash if we can. If no. we can't, that's all right. Stupid. Stupid. Everything needs to be digital currency anyway. You think so? There's no there's no backing behind real money. They can at least not know how much you have. Are you gonna go get gold? Can you take your dollar bills and go get gold? Where? What do you mean? It's just a piece of paper. Gold no, I'm but I want to buy some gold. Yeah. But I would buy gold because that has value. Yeah. Paper has no value, no real value. No. But I like the idea. I think everything should just be just universal credits. You think across so? Across the globe. You think so? Mm-hmm. Universal credit. How would that? Uh, so Anywhere you go, you can just beep, beep, beep. So everybody's, everybody's dollar is equal. No. Then how would we? It, it may cost five cents in this country. Like Mexico, right? Because, because we live Ten to close, one. Right. Right? We'll yes. say 10 to one. Yeah. It's, it's a rough estimate. Like, if you go to Mexico, you're going to get 10 pesos to a dollar. It's yeah. probably more than that now, but same thing. It's 10 credits there or one credit here. So you would still have it separated, but it's all just still the same. Same thing, just different values. Uh, if it costs 10 credits there to it, one credit here, it's the same as 10 pesos to a dollar. Do you ever think we'll see? I mean, I'm not saying it won't happen. A world economy? Yeah. Do you? No. Because one one country would want to be in charge. Somebody, obviously. yeah, I mean, what, are we going to let the NATO do it? The United no, Nations? No, no, no. Let nobody do it. And what happens to the people that are on sanctions now they don't, like, their people don't get have any currency? Sorry. <laughs> we told you guys. You're out. Yeah. You're done. You get nothing. I, I love digital. You do. You've always loved digital. I don't like cash. I, I never liked cash. I don't. It really? Even before it was a thing? Like, no. It, so as, so as soon as you could use a card, you were like, I'm, I love this. Mm-hmm. Okay. And when I don't have to use my card, when I can just use my phone or my watch. Oh, man, that's just... Even better. I, when I was using my... I, I was using this... So when we went to out of town, I started using this because it was just way easier, right? Yep. I found myself doing that too much. That's why I don't and like it. Then you it. woke up spending too... Yeah. That's why I don't like it. So a lot of time, Kristen will have my debit card. And I will just have my phone. And it's the same. I mean, it is the same. You're, you're not That way wrong. she has access to go get whatever, yeah. you know. Or she just transfers see, it that, to her account. See, no, we're different. See, so JJ, mm-hmm. phone, me, have everything else. Yeah. Don't, like, I don't even have it right now because she's traveling. I even have her ID with me. Never, she didn't, nothing, nothing. Oh, if we go anywhere, she's always like, can you take my ID yeah. and this one other thing? Usually not a different And then she time. has, you know, sometimes she'll have an Apple Watch, so she don't have nothing. Yeah, don't need it, mm-hmm. except to get into the airport. Yeah. Now they just scan your eyes. Mm-hmm. True ID. When we went to Singapore, mm-hmm. didn't even show my passport. They just knew it was you. Stepped into this. is like, you know, you walk, you step in a line. You step in a line, mm-hmm. and there's like these small mini glass doors. Opens. Stand right here. Boom. Beep. Thank you, Mr. Open. Gonzalez. Yep. That's all right. That. It's happening. Everywhere. I mean, I mean, facial recognition. Honestly, cameras like, are everywhere, all over the place. That was also the fastest. It was so fast because you know, and there was a line, mm-hmm. but, 
But it was like boop, 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 boop. boop, boop. You yeah. know, it was not here, wait, not here, now. Not fumbling through their paperwork, what trying to doing? find their stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? What are you doing? What are you, whatever. I mean, I'm sure they pull people aside just like anywhere else. They're yeah. Like, oh, that guy's black. Come here. Yeah. They pulled me aside leaving. I would. Just randomly. I would. Yeah, I bet. How Come dare. here. Get over here. I'd pull you. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Man, I had, I had a lot of other things. We're an hour in. Yeah. These hours, so fast. It, the hour goes too, so fast. I, it goes But you can't do, fast. I mean, more than an hour. No, you, it, no, no, no. <sighs> Things I had on my list. Okay. We can talk about them next time. Does your definition of success change over time? I'll answer Don't that next time. I'll answer. When you transition in life from thing to thing to thing, do you create a new identity? Not like a true, like, give me a new ID card, but... You're just you as a person. You become... How many lives have you lived, okay. basically, is my thing. I was thinking about it because I've been in radio. I've done this. You know, it's like I've lived, like, five lives. Yeah. In a short time, too. And they all are in, like, little boxes. Like, each one is its own little thing. And because of that, I'm always trying to find new passions. And I can't find one right now. Except building the studio out, which I got to stop. <laughs> hey, every time I, I come in I here every, stop. every few days, right? We do our filming every mm -hmm. few days. You adding something every time. Yeah, I got to stop. From the lava lamp to... I got to stop. Yeah. It's bad. That's an addiction. There's a lot going on in here. But, you know, it's hard... It's hard it's cool when though. it's hard when things look good on the camera. Right. When you see it and you're like, you know, oh, like, if I oh, add that, yeah. it's gonna look good. If I yeah. oh yeah, that's that, gonna look that's good. it's hard. So that's a couple of things that right. keep keep your mind on. I'm gonna and you have those, some, you those have are some. those are those are good ones though. That's mm -hmm. that that's mm -hmm. those are good. Don't forget, you can call, leave us a voicemail or text anytime you want. 303-578-8680. I think it'd be funny if members called while we were on because I would see the notification. That would be, That'd awesome. be weird. Um, but I think we're going to wind up today as far as the filming goes. Anyway, call us if you have something you want, you want us to talk about or if, uh, if something we talked about stirred something up with you, let us know. We will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.